Let's begin by importing an STL file for the reference mesh using Tools, Power Surfacing, Import Reference Mesh. A new part is created. You will specify the units and are now ready to start retopologizing. In this case, the reference mesh needs some repair. To enter Reference Mesh Edit Mode, click the Edit Reference Mesh button on the toolbar. Paint around the hole, giving yourself a good buffer zone, and from the right-click menu, select the Edit Selected Faces icon. Edit the local area using the regular power surfacing tools. In this example, the hole was filled using quad fill, had curve applied, and then had relax used to blend with the surrounding faces. Click the green check to exit edit face mode. Repeat the select and edit face process to make the other repairs. When you are finished with all of the repairs, click the green check to exit edit reference mesh mode and begin the retopologizing process. Having made the repairs, you may want to save this version of your reference mesh. From Tools, Power Surfacing, Save, select Save Reference Mesh as OBJ or STL. If the goal is a quick conversion, you can check out Quad Wrap. Smaller numbers make smaller faces to capture more detail, but will cause a denser surface breakdown on conversion. A better solution will be to get the final detail using shrink wrap. A quick check of the result shows an open edge. SmartFill easily fixes the hole. With shrink wrap, at one iteration, the retopo mesh is much more accurate. Accept the result and then convert.